I kind of, I'm almost want to do a, like, a healing body piece, like, healing body's body piece, see if they can actually, like, <laughs> she can heal herself a lot and actually, like, solo tank slash sustain fight. That would be so funny to me. <laughs> Subscribe, please! Hello there, HSR enthusiasts. Today we have some posts on Holy Lab regarding Yun Li, the upcoming character in patch 2.4, I believe, coming in soon. So we've seen some of her abilities during the, the live stream, all that good good, but I figured let's have a look at that preview. Let's see if we have any kind of new information. I apologize, my cat has been on a tantrum for a little while now. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's 6 a.m. I'm not gonna try to. This is staying in. <laughs> anyway, my name is Yunli, a sword master of the Jamju Zooming. If you have any bladed weapons with you, please show it to me. Thank you. Hello, Trailblazer. Today we have the character preview for Yunli, Destruction Physical. I don't gonna lie, I'm a little bit upset by the fact that she's Destruction Physical because I had kind of wished that as a character that's kind of, you know, a, a new... Um, a new Clara, I kind of wish she was a bit different. I kind of wish she had a different element. Um, I had hoped she would be fire because of, like, you know, the background and stuff, but she's not. She's physical as well, which is a bit sad. I kind of want to go with a shoes, no service kind of team composition. I have both uh, Yun Lee and Clara together. and uh, But that's only going to be feasible against enemies who are weak to physical. Uh, but I guess I'll do it anyway. Yun Li is an offensive character who can automatically perform a blast counter when attacked. Additionally, after Yun Li uses ultimate, she can actively enter the parry state and taunt the enemy. During this period, when attacked or when parry ends, Yun Li immediately performs a powerful counter attack on the enemy. So what's really interesting with Yun Li and where she differs from Clara is that Clara counter attacks when she is hit or when an ally is hit, right? Which means she has more opportunities to put in, quote unquote, she has more ways to counter attack, right? Um, that said, she can only counterattack for allies when you're under ultimate and stuff like that, blah 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 blah. You know what's going on. For Yunli though, she only counterattacks when she gets hit. That said, she can taunt enemies. A lot of people like taunt, especially that was one of the big reasons for, you know, Fire Trail Blazer. And now we finally have taunt back on Yunli. That's very interesting. Next, a Frank stood for Jinju Zooming Sword Hunter. We have some information here. Honestly, um, if you want to have a look, you can pause and check it out yourself. I kind of want to go through like what she does um, and, you know, just kind of talk about this here, about teaching a few moves. Obviously, we see who's going to be uh, a student, no spoilers. And here we have the traces. For each time Intuit Slash is used, the next Intuit Slash will become Intuit Call. I assume this is just a stronger um, version of it. And it's related to her ultimate, Earthbind, Earth Easter Break. Okay, interesting. Demon Quell, when the parry state resists crowd control debuffs received and reduces damage received. So essentially, when after she ulties, she gets into these parry states and she will have more um, resist percentage as well as uh, uh, reduced damage. So it just makes her tankier and obviously. Uh, getting CC'd is the bane of characters that have follow-up attack and a counter is a form of follow-up attack so obviously you do need that crowd control um, resistance. Uh, True Thunder, when launching a counter, increase Yun Li's attack for one turn. Interesting, just a self buff, that's nice. Uh, here you can check this out if you want to pre-farm. I think at the moment actually everything here can be already farmed, so get get your resources ready this is no new resources the ipc work permit has been added last patch i believe and uh, the rest has been here for a long ass time so get to what you want to farm what you want to get what you need to get if you intend to pull for yunli here we can see adorableness uh, eating her dumplings very cute uh technique the posterior precedence gains a ward effect but for a set number of seconds. When entering combat by attacking enemies or by being attacked, immediately inflict into a call on a random enemy target to increase damage dealt by this attack. Okay. Basic attack, physical damage to a single enemy. Talent. When Yunli toughness reduction 10, interesting. And her basic attack is also 10. Flash Forge. 
When Yun Li's attacked by an enemy target, additionally regenerates energy and immediately launches a counter on the attacker, dealing physical damage to it and a certain percentage of physical damage to agents and targets. So it's a... Uh, damn, the, her counter is actually an AoE. That's cool. Well, not an AoE, it's um, a blast, right? It's like AoE is five targets, every AoE is everyone, blast is three targets. Uh, if there are no targets that can be countered, the counter will be launched against a random enemy target. Interesting. So that means that even if you take damage that could be dealt by an enemy dying, you will still counter attack someone. Skill. Bladeborn Quake. Toughness reduction is 20, so double. Restore a certain amount of HP, then deal physical damage to a single enemy and a certain percentage of physical damage to adjacent targets. So the fact that she has self-heal means that compared to Clara, the comparison is going to happen. That's just how it's going to be. She actually has self-sustain. And what's really important here is that I'm sure there's a way to play her as a solo sustain. I'm sure, like, I'm sure in some game mode, you're going to be able to play her and have her be relatively comfortable. Um, but because she taunts and self-heals, it means that you can re redirect enemy attacks toward her and have her heal herself. So I go to see. I kind of, I'm almost wanna do a like a healing body piece, like healing bonus body piece. See if that can actually like <laughs> she can heal herself a lot and actually like solo tank slash sustain fight. That would be so funny to me. <laughs> if you want to be extra safe, maybe you could put like. Um, preservation March. Make her taunt even more. I, I don't know. That seems like that's for babies. Solo sustain, Yunli confirmed. Ultimate, Earthbind, Earth Ether Breaker. Consume a certain amount of energy, Yunli gains parry and taunts all enemies, lasting until the end of the next turn of an ally or an enemy. It increases the crit damage of Yunli's next counter. When the counter effect of the times is triggered, it will instead launch a counter into it, call and dispel parry. If no counters are triggered while parry is active, Yunli will immediately launch a counter into its slash on a random enemy target when parry ends. When Yunli deals damage through into its slash or in and into its call, it will be considered as dealing ultimate damage. Finally, we have a character that has follow-up attack and does ultimate damage. Uh, significant ultimate damage. There it is. We finally have someone that can actually use that set because even Jade, um, Jade's basic slot is still the Quantum uh, set. So now we finally have someone that can use the new set that a lot of people probably have since they've been farming for Firefly. Intrude Slash, deal physical damage to the target enemy and deals a certain percentage of physical damage to agents or targets. Okay. Intrude Cold, deal physical damage to the target and deals a certain percentage of the same. Then it should deal multiple instances of damage with each instance dealing physical damage to a random single enemy target. Ooh, I wonder how many hits it's going to be. Interesting. Okay. Overall, interesting stuff. And here we have her light cone, a signature light cone. Phase one. Dance at sunset. Very cute. Love the cat. That's an adorable light cone. I love it. Um, okay. Defense is not. It's reasonable. Could be better. Superimposition level one. Okay. Deeply and gross. Greatly increases the odds that the wearer will be attacked and increases the wearer's crit damage by 36%. After the wearer is their ultimate, they receive one stack of fire dance, lasting for two turns and up to two stacks. Each stack of fire dance increases the damage dealt by the wearer's follow-up attack by 36%. Obviously, this is very good. Um, yeah, this is very good. Uh, this is obviously telemate for her, as always. I, I don't know if she's going to need it that much. There's so many destruction uh, light codes that are pretty good uh, that you can probably get or probably already have. Um, so I would say it's probably not a necessity, but uh, overall, if you really, really like this character, if you think she's the cutest, or if you are very happy that Clara finally has a friend who's also uh, shoeless, uh, you can definitely give her her light cone. Uh, a good material, you can already perform for it, and uh, there it is. Yeah, so... Oh, we also get to see what light cone are going to be on the banner. That's great. We are going to get the more welcomes you which is a uh, destruction light cone. So I guess it, it often they often put a, another destruction light cone, like, okay, if you don't get the five star, at least you have this one that you can use on her, I suppose. And um, yeah, th this one, it, it's not that bad. Um, for every basic attack skill or ultimate where you use, they attack the enemy, the warriors get one second mischievous. Just as a little side note, since we're here, uh, it's learning time. 
this is this doesn't work every time you do basic skill or ulti. If I remember correctly, you need to do basic, one skill, and one ulti. And each is going to boost your attack by 12%. So it's not like you can do attack three times and get 26%. Doing attack three times will still only get you attack 12% bonus, right? So you need to do all of them. So uh, yeah, that's a, a food for thought. Um, is it thought for food? Food for thought? Either way. Uh, like going for abundance. Uh, increase the raise effect res. Outgoing healing. Um, I mean, in terms of like abundance character will work well with her. Obviously, Lynx is going to be there. Lynx can draw aggro to destruction characters naturally. Um, and even if her healing is less effective than other healer, because she just have less, um, because Yunli um, draws aggro on top of Lynx passive, uh, and has some damage reduction and self-heal. That means that I think Lynx is going to suffice for her, definitely. And here we got the Burst of Self, uh, which is a decent icon for follow-up attack. Um, works well for her attack. It's not the best in the world. They have some very good, like... I mean, we just got a 5-star edition icon in Herta's shop. Uh, but this is still pretty decent. Uh, it's... At S5, this is a 90... I want to say 96% damage increase with follow-up attack against enemies below 50% HP, which is generally when Herta, Herta triggers her follow-up attack at 50% HP or less uh, when enemy reaches that thre threshold, which is pretty good. Anyway, yeah, good stuff, good times. Let me know if you're going to be pulling for her. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you like the video, comment, all the good good, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!